In this video, I'm going to explain why New Jersey is better than New York. Yes, you heard it. New Jersey is better than New York. I know some of you aren't going to believe me, but I'm not here to convince everyone, but I am here to defend my state that's always getting made fun of. It's always the butt of the joke. It's always, oh, you're from Jersey? No one has ever said Jersey. Okay, and a lot of the people that are making fun of New Jersey over there in New York, they're from like Montana or Minnesota or some place that starts with an M that's not here. Okay, so they're not from New York. A lot of these people that are talking bad about New Jersey or they're New Yorkers and they're stuck up and they live in their penthouse. You know, this video is not for you if you are someone who has a penthouse on Fifth Avenue, if you have a brownstone in, in the West Village. Yeah. You're living pretty good in New York, so yeah, just keep it up or, you know, write me a check or something, please. But anyway, that's not my point. My point is for most people, living in New Jersey is much better than living in New York. And I'll explain in this video why that is. The first point at which New Jersey beats New York is this view. There are many places in New Jersey with a beautiful view of the New York skyline. Ironically, there are few places in New York with a good view of the New York skyline. Yeah, maybe the Brooklyn Heights, Dumbo. But if you live in Queens, if you live out in the Bronx, and especially if you live in most of these parts of Manhattan, you don't have such a nice view. Or you have a view that's kind of stuck in between other buildings. Here we have a beautiful setback view of the New York skyline. Many people have access to this, not just the rich. Everyone can walk along this walkway, take in the beautiful views. There's nothing I like better than sitting out here on the dock of the bay. Now, if you live uptown, Washington Heights might have a view of New Jersey, and I think it is a nice sight, the Palisade Cliffs, but I prefer looking at the New York skyline, checking out the buildings. I figure I just walk a little bit on this pathway, show you around a little bit. This building is called the T Building. It used to be a Lipton Tea Factory. Basically, uh, around five o'clock, everyone comes out here, gets some exercise, checks out the skyline. This is one of the things that makes New Jersey great. Checking out the sailboats. Second reason why New Jersey is better than New York, and this is going to be a little bit of a, a dig on New York, but I have to say it, yo, like what's up with the rats, man? I mean, I could take a, a rat once in a while and see a rat in the subway, but I'm talking about a really big problem especially in Manhattan. If you go to Washington Square Park at like eight o'clock at night, you're not dealing with one rat. You're dealing with like 500 rats. I'm not even joking around. I was, I saw this post on the New York Post and you know that nice pond in Central Park? There was a herring, or I think it was a herring and it literally was fishing and it came up with a rat. Can you believe like that's your day at Central Park. Listen, I love Central Park, but like, come on. Gotta figure out this rat problem. But I think it's worth it to take a little look at this view. There's so much skyline, so much riverfront. But one of the biggest reasons why it's better to live here is New York is just too expensive, especially when you talk about Manhattan. You can't really get a good quality of life in Manhattan unless you have a lot of money. And even if you have a lot of money, you end up spending a good part of your paycheck on rent and you end up living in a closet or with five other roommates. New Jersey's not a cheap state. Living in Hudson County, living in Bergen County is not cheap, but you get much more bang for your buck. You get much more value for what you pay and the apartments tend to be more comfortable to live in. A lot of them are newer. You have new stuff right over here. You have brownstones, you have older houses, but 
they're nice to live in. It's not cheap. If you want cheap, this is not the area of the world to live in. Move down south, move to Texas, where you can get that nice house, backyard. Nothing against that too. I think that's, you have to be honest with yourself. Do you really want to be here for the price? You could move to another place that's cheaper. But in New Jersey, you get access to all of this and I want to say about, a, you know, three quarters of the price. It's not free, obviously, but it's much cheaper. And groceries are cheaper. Taxes are lower, both income and uh, sales tax. Restaurants are cheaper. Beers are cheaper. Just check out the view of New York City. It's the golden hour. We have the World Trade Center over there. We have the Empire State over there in Midtown. And you get access to all this from New Jersey. You can take the ferry boat right over there. Ferry's kind of expensive, about 10 bucks. Or you can take the path down at the other end of Hoboken for about 250, maybe it's $3 now to get to the city. There are buses every 10 minutes for 350 that take you to Times Square in 10 minutes. So any access that someone from New York has, especially if we're talking about the outer boroughs, you have to if you live in this part of New Jersey. At about maybe three quarters of the price, like I said. Here's a little park. People come out here, have picnics. walk their dogs, play with their kids. With this view in the background, I don't know any park in New York that has this. And because, like I said, we're a little bit further back, we really get a 180 view of the skyline. Technically, you could see all the way up to the George Washington Bridge. Right over there, we have a bar. I guess you can compare it to the frying pan, which is right over there, except much less pretentious. You don't have to like get yelled at by the security, by the bouncers. I, they treat you all right there. Drinks are much cheaper. Same amazing view. We also have a lot of good universities. That's Stevens, one of the best universities in engineering they have great views up there i mean there's nothing wrong with new york but i think considering this view the grass is greener on this side remember i said that you could see the other bridge from here i think you can see it can you make it out here on the it's not really showing too well let me show you like this okay now you can see the verrazano bridge financial district so just walking about five blocks, not five blocks, five minutes from where I was, you can see the other tip of the island. So you can see all the way from the George Washington Bridge. Actually, in one shot, you have the George Washington Bridge and the Verrazano Narrows, which leads you into the Atlantic Ocean, the Upper Bay, and then the Atlantic Ocean. And then down to the Jersey Shore, yeah. Sandy Hook, and after Sandy Hook, we have the Jersey Shore much maligned and shows like the Jersey Shore, but that is only one little minor aspect of the Jersey Shore. Some of the most beautiful beaches in the Northeast you can find on the Jersey Shore. I think some of the most beautiful beaches in the country. We also have better sporting facilities here. It's much easier to find a field or a sporting facility to play soccer, basketball, baseball on this side of the river when you compare to New York. Behind me is where I played Little League Baseball. And I have to mention that New Jersey, especially Hoboken, is the birthplace of baseball. I know there is Cooperstown, New York, that claims that they're the birthplace of baseball. But the first game was played here. Everybody knows that. Went to school right over there. That church right over there. My parents got married there. First communion. Baptism confirmation all at that church. 
This right here is Washington Street, the main street in Hoboken, packed with bars. The new kind of neighborhood to hang out is downtown Jersey City, which is just over there. They have even more bars, really good restaurants. Like I said, tons of parks. You can play basketball, you can play soccer. Places to hang out with the kids. Got the library over there. Just a really relaxed environment. Nice community. Something that you can find in New York, but I feel like New York is more transient, more tourist. This is a community. You get the access to New York, but you're living in a community. Now I'm in the barrio, my neighborhood. It's not all rich yuppies in New Jersey. We have our ethnic neighborhoods. I love to chill in the barrio. I can get some Cuban food on the corner. Everything's at a good price. People are friendly. I got the salsa blasting in the street. This is what I like. This is New Jersey. Okay, it's the next day. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt, but it's laundry day. I'm taking my dog for a walk. New Jersey is much more relaxed in the morning. You can get to the city in 10 minutes, like right there, the bus will come to take you to the city. But you have some peace and some quiet, except when these people beep their horn. What do you think about that Derby? Anyway, that was New Jersey. That's why I prefer New Jersey to New York. You can have your own opinions. You can form your own opinions. I definitely recommend you visit both. And I'll see you next time. Peace.